I first started studying literature when I was an undergraduate, and I think I knew then that I wanted to be part of an English department. Studying literature is inherently a project of understanding diversity, and this project of being men and women for others, of moving toward social justice, those are inherently projects of diversity as well. When I teach my medieval classes, a couple of two kind of canyons on either side, I, I like to point out to students that, so that they don't kind of fall into these traps, include looking back at the Middle Ages, seeing these people as these crazy alien cultures that I have nothing to do with, and that these are these kind of exotic people that we get to study from a distance. And so I try to personalize them and, and um, explain that uh, no, we can't think of them as so distant. I also want to point out to them that we can't look at them and, and say, these people are just like us. There are fundamental ways in which people think and live and interact with each other differently, and we need to confront that. This is a project that I think also is connected to uh, the, the, a, a, a literature class that I taught last semester, Writings by Sexual Minorities. It's an odd title for a class, it was, uh, the title was created many years ago, and we used our opening class to really interrogate those terms. What does that mean? Writings? What are sexual minorities? In the end, I think it was very useful for students to see as we brought in a, a wide range of, of, of different kinds of texts to understand these questions of who are the disenfranchised groups? Who's acting outside the kind of pillars of establishment? that that encompasses a wide group of people. Um, disenfranchised groups find themselves in all sorts of different kinds of closets. They have to move through all sorts of different kinds of, of coming out processes. And I thought that, I think that was a real eye-opening moment for the class, and I think it was a hugely successful class for that reason. That notion of getting to understand this, the, broadness of humanity is kind of a crucial project, so educational components involve looking at who are these groups of people, who's, who's brought in under this um, rubric of the GLBTQA, where do we still see misogyny, racism in a, a group of people that for every reason knows they need to band together for strength. I have no question when I interact with these students that they understand the project of social justice and the idea that serving as men and women for others is a key component for one's education. That, coupled with an excitement and a desire to learn, is really the heart of the Jesuit university. The power of X is diversity. I'm Stevie Andell. I'm an associate professor of English and advisor for the Alliance, and I'm the power of X.